How do we design habits in a way that we don't fade away from them and they pull us into them? That way we can get more sucked into the good habits that don't destroy our lives. I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you the answer because I don't wanna bullshit you. It's with manageable difficulty. You see, humans love to solve problems. So if we, let's say uh, you and I decided to 2v1 a three-year-old in a tennis match. Oh boy, that'd be real tough. We'd get bored so quickly. We'd earn every single point. We'd absolutely demolish him. We'd, we'd, just, we'd put him in the ground. Th th no competition. But let's say <laughs> you and I decided to go against an Olympic star. Two of them, 2v2. Me and you who sat here watching this video versus these two have been training for years. <sighs> We'd get demolished. Our motivation, we wouldn't even feel motivated after the first point. Who the fuck would? <laughs> you think I want to be satisfied with getting destroyed? <sighs> that's not my type, bro. If you like that, that's tough. But imagine instead of that, it was me versus you. Where suddenly it's like, we have the both same, same skill level. Okay, we have the same skill level, same goal, reach this amount of points. Okay, okay, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. This could actually happen. You have a higher chance of winning, not a higher, sorry. You have a good chance of winning and I have a good chance of winning, but that's only, that's dependent on the person that tries. Okay, so we really have to get invested now. No more distractions, get, get our mind cleared. We're in the zone, in the game. <sighs> racket after racket, ball after ball. We're just sitting here sprinting back and forth, back and forth. Hang on. What's that called? The zone. Scientists call this, this concept the Goldilocks rule. And I'm gonna try to explain it to you in the best way possible. My name's AJ. I help young men improve their lives using self-improvement. Scroll down, click the subscribe button. It's a win-win for both of us. So the Goldilocks rule is so simple for me to explain. <laughs> Think of a, a task. Think of a task that you have to do. Some bullshit. So let's say taking a cold shower. The difficulty for that task is up here your skill level for that task is right here for how well you can manage doing that over and over again because it's genuinely painful it's difficult it's hard but your skill is down here so when you go to attend to try this thing right here that's up here you will feel like shit you will feel demotivated you will get thoughts in your head you will be in the complete opposite of a flow state okay so maybe that's not really good but let's say that you do decide to do it anyways. You take them, you take them, you take them, you take them. And then, hey, hang on. You're on the same level. It's like the difficulty of taking a cold shower doesn't even matter because you've been taking them for so long that they almost feel numb to you. That's fucking great. But, but, to, in to increase the level of flow that you do get, Increasing this difficulty and getting your flow up there is what makes it so much more greater. I'll speak more about that into another video. I'm gonna teach you how to find a flow state task. Now, unfortunately, this does involve some pain because finding a flow state task is a difficulty that's baseline is always going to be right up here. And all of our skill levels are shit, so we're gonna be down here because we've been spending the majority of our lives doing bullshit and So a task that's up here, no, no, no. A task that has to do with self-improvement, it's always gonna be up here, because we're down here. Me and you, brother and brother, we gotta get to that task right up there. If we wanna call ourselves different, if we wanna call ourselves separate from the 99%. To find your flow state task, just sit in silence for a good, mm -hmm, like, How long would you sit in silence? You'd sit in silence at least with nothing around you in a room like this that's 
There's like nothing around me. There's no distractions. Well, there are distractions, but I choose, I, I'm at the certain point in time where I can just choose not to indulge into the distraction. <clears throat> and you're gonna sit there with a pen and a paper and you're just gonna think and write. 99% of people won't do this. Why? Because their thoughts are like demons. You have to fight your demons if you wanna get into this point, bro. You don't get to a point like this after <laughs> smelling the flowers and playing video games, I don't know, some bullshit instant gratification habit. You wouldn't get to this point by doing that. You would get to this type of level in your life only if you did the hard work, especially when you didn't feel like it. I'm gonna say that in the next video because it'll be much more relevant there. The call to action is to find a goal a goal that you have, so let's say you want to increase your muscle mass. Mm -hmm. If your goal is right here, what we want you to do, what I want you to do, is to find a mini goal in that, whether it be, okay, okay, bench to um, 100 pounds, 150 pounds. Bench 150 pounds inside of the mini goal of Increasing your muscle mass and then figuring out where you are for this Figuring out I want I just want you to figure out your limit your limit of skill So in order for you to bench this 150 pounds You must be able to at least bench 145 140 we want you to get somewhere into that close level range Because all that means is that okay, I have the mental power to do it I can lift it this is where my limits are. This is where my skill is at. If I keep pushing past this, progressively increase, progress, eh, progressively overload, then I'll win. See you later, bro.